horizontal, vertical, slant, and curved lines. At the end of this session, you will be able to explain horizontal, vertical, slant, and curved lines. Introduction to Horizontal, Vertical, Slant, and Curved Lines What a beautiful day, and it looks like Ben, Bella, and Webby are on their way to a new adventure. Let's join them. Guys, hurry up. We have to get there before sunset. Only then, we can set up the camp. Okay, let's check the map to see if there is any way to get to the place faster. It shows, two routes webby. The road here, is not that good. It has unnecessary curves, and turns, so it's not possible to go very fast. Let's take this straight road, to get to our destination faster. What is a curve webby? You have never heard the word curve before? No webby, I have not. A curve is a smooth flowing line, without any sharp turns. Line? Yes. There are different types of lines. Let me teach you about them, once we reach the spot. Ben, Bella, and Webby reached their destination, and set up the tent successfully. After an hour, Webby began teaching them about various types of lines. Let's learn along with them. Horizontal, Vertical, Slant, and Curved Lines Ben and Bella, look at this origami fan. The stick of the origami fan is a straight line. but. Did you know that this straight line, is called a vertical line? Straight lines are vertical, if they go straight up and down, or top to bottom, without going across. That is interesting. But, what if I make the origami fan lie down? That is an excellent question Bella. If you do so, the stick of the origami fan, is no longer a vertical line. Then what is it? The stick of the origami fan, is now horizontal. Straight lines are horizontal if they go across from side to side, without going up or down. Wow! So, up to down, or down to up, lines are called vertical lines, and side to side, lines are called horizontal lines. That's right. What if I keep the origami fan, neither in the upright, nor in the lie down position, but keep it in an in-between position? Then, that would be a slanting line. Lines are slanting, if they don't go straight across, or straight up or down. They look like a slope. Can you name an object that is in a slanting position? A staircase is neither vertical nor horizontal. It is slanting. Well Bella, it looks like you understood the three types of straight lines very well. Now, look around, and find the objects with horizontal, vertical, and slanted lines. The firewood, over there is kept in a horizontal position. The tree, is in a vertical position. The string, that is tied to the tent is in a slanting position. Very good. Now, that you have understood horizontal, vertical, and slanting lines, let's learn about curved lines. Curved lines, are those that are not straight. Can you take a piece of paper, and just doodle? Sure, Webby. The result of your doodling, is called a curve. Look, there are beautiful mountains behind us. They are curved. The roads on hills, and mountains are also curvy. Now, can you write the numbers, that have only curved lines? Sure. 0, 6, 8, and 9, are the numbers, that have only curved lines. Superb. I am so glad, that I understood the different types of lines. Yes, me too. Now, can you recall what you have learned today? Sure. Summary. We learned that vertical lines, go straight up and down, or top to bottom without going across. Horizontal lines, go across from side to side, without going up or down. Slanting lines, go straight across, they look like a slope. And curved lines, are those that are not straight. Conclusion Superb! You two grasp the concept well. Now, I will give a task for you. Write the alphabets that have only curved lines. C, U, S, and O. Now, write the alphabets that have only slanting lines. V, W, and X. Very good. Now write the alphabets that have both vertical and horizontal lines. E, F, H, and L. Brilliant. Okay guys, come on, the sun is about to set now. Let's light the campfire and have a good time. <laughs>